What's up, friends? This is Ben, and uh, this is the um, gymnastics station week where all of our students are uh, doing a bunch of different gymnastics stations. So I thought I would show you the setup and I'd tell you how we run it. It is a lot of fun. The kids um, are crazy about it when they see all the stations set up. So I'll take you through them. We got eight different stations. First one is our traveling station. So at the traveling station, we have a long mat. This is a one class setup. So for a two class setup, I would just have a double mat. So I'd have one line here and one line here. And what they're doing is they're traveling down. And as they travel down, the um, iPad is set up on a tripod right here and hooked up to the TV. So once I get through traveling, I just step off the mat and then I get to look up at the TV and watch myself do that travel. So you can see I'm walking down the mat now. Um, so that's on a 10 second delay. That's using an app called BAM Video Delay, which is a really great app for kids to get that visual feedback. Um, you definitely want to talk to them about uh, the importance of watching and trying to get better and not just being silly on the camera. Um, and at each station, there is going to be a sign that tells the kids what to do. So that'll give them some tips. There's a K through second travel list and a third through fifth travel list and a few reminders like one person on the mat at a time. And then also I have the station's numbered. So if kids are uh, not confused about where to go, they can just look at the number. This is number one. So then they know they need to find the number two cone. So when uh, the music stops, the kids will go to their station sign and then they'll just be walking on the black line until they get to the next station, which is the vault. The vaulting station is our number two station. So the kids are gonna be lined up right here and they will be jumping on the trampoline and vaulting on top of the mats and jumping off and then they will go over the mats. And uh, we have some different reminders on the sign and also some levels for the kids to try. So for a kindergarten, I would actually take this top mat off. So they would be jumping up here and um, practicing jumping off with just two stack mats. And then for first through third, I have three stack mats. And then for fourth grade, I actually put this extra one on there. So fourth and fifth graders will use all the mats and they will be stacked up. And we do it in different levels. So level one, they will jump on the trampoline and put their knees up on the mat and then jump off trying to stick that landing when they land. Level two, they will jump off the trampoline and put their feet up. And then level three will be putting their side over, so swinging their legs over the side, just using their hands on the mat. And then level four is a squat through. Um, and level four is only for third through fifth graders. Um, also, uh, we try to let the kids do the um, different activities that they're comfortable with. So if students want to just stick at level one and just keep putting their knees up there and then jumping off, that's fine with me. I just want to give the kids a challenge that want one and I want everybody to have something to do to keep them motivated. After the music stops, they will stand on the line next to their sign and they will walk around on the black line until they get to the next sign. Let's see what our next sign is going to be. The next sign is the rock wall and students will be climbing on the rock wall um, they do have their shoes off, so if they want to put their shoes on, they can. Um, but they will be climbing across the rock wall. Most of them just do it barefoot. Um, and then they try to go through without hitting any of the noodles. If they knock a noodle down, then they have to pick it back up, put it back in for the next person, and go back and try it again. After this station at the rock wall, they will come over here to the rope swing challenge. The rope swing challenge, we have two swings set up. And um, over there on that side, the kids are just swinging from one side to the other. Right now it's set up for third through fifth and with kindergarten through second grade, I will um, scoot that stack mat out and move the mats a little bit closer to make it easier. Third through fifth, I make it a longer swing for them. And then um, with kindergarten, I'll actually take off the, the double stack and they'll only be swinging from one stack. All right, so you can see the uh, red mat here is also set up for third through fifth grade. So this has three levels. Kids will swing from mat to mat. So they'll stand on this mat and swing one way across. At both of the stations they should only be swinging one way because you don't want kids swinging back into the line that would be very dangerous so they're only swinging one way after they get the mat to mat they can try level two which is swinging from mat to floor so they swing all the way across to try to get to the floor over there without touching the mats and then the last level would be floor to floor so they would go from this side of the floor all the way across without touching any of the mats um, and you can make this easier what i do for k through second is i um, these are folded in half and I'll fold them all the way up so it makes it a shorter swing and they're also a little, hot, a little bit higher up since those kids are a little bit shorter. So that's the way you can modify it and make it easier for them. Also another way to modify rope swings is to move the mats. So right now it's pretty centered up but if you move the mat this way so that the rope is uh, closer to the start that makes it harder. 
So if you wanted to make it harder, you could move the mat this way because then they're going to have to get a lot more momentum to swing over. If you want to make it easier, you could move the mat this way and that way when they're starting, they already have a, a really good swing and when they get to the midway point, they don't have as far to go to get to the end. Uh, so that's the way you can modify it if you would like to. After the rope swing, they're coming over here to the single balance challenges. At the single balance challenges, they have some uh, different challenges on the poster that is up here on the wall that I created. Um, you can check that out on the resources page if you would like to in our gymnastics pack. And then the sign gives them some reminders about making sure that they hold it for five seconds, staying on the mat, and also if they're trying an inverted balance like a headstand or a handstand, they need to make sure they put their back towards the wall so that they don't um, fall down on the floor. So that is the single balance page. And then coming over here, next one is our jump boxes. The jump boxes is station number six. And right now I only have two jump boxes set up because I only have about two or three kids at a station with one class. But if I had two classes, I would put some of these other jump boxes up. Um, I have different sizes for different groups. So these are the ones I use for the older kids. They're a little bit taller. And then for the younger students, I'll pull these out. Um, just working on different jumping tricks reminding them to bend their knees and try to land on their toes and have a soft landing. Um, with K through uh, first, we just work on jumping. Second through fifth, work on different tricks like doing a straddle or a tuck jump or maybe a turn jump like a 180, sticking those landings on the mat. Um, also, you wanna remind your kids to make sure that as they jump, the mat will kind of scoot away from the jump box. Remind them to scoot the equipment back up so they're not making a far jump over the ground. All right, next station up is the balance beam. At the balance beam, uh, kids are going to create a sequence where they will be um, working on doing different travels like hopping, jumping, skipping, sliding across the balance beam. And uh, for third through fifth, I let them do a cartwheel off of the beam if they want to. So putting their hands on the beam and then landing with their feet on the mat. But our rule for that is they have to be able to do it on the line first. So they would try a cartwheel on the line before they do it on the beam. Because if they can't do it on the floor, I don't want them trying it on the beam. Um, so if they want to do that, they can. K through second, we don't uh, talk about that yet because we haven't really worked on our cartwheels enough. And over here is another balance beam challenge. This is the beam bag balance. So this beam is one of the ones you can flip over and it has the small beam on the bottom. So that makes it a little harder. They'll bounce a uh, bean bag on their head and try to walk across. And kindergarten through second, they're just trying to walk across normal. Third through fifth, I tell them if they would like to, they can go backwards um, as well to make it across. So it makes it a little bit harder for them. And that's our balance beam stations. I do have a couple more benches that we'll pull out if we have double classes to increase participation. And then the last uh, station is the partner balance station. I only do this with third through fifth. So K through second is only doing seven stations, third through fifth is doing eight. And at the partner balance station, we just have a bunch of uh, balancing pictures from the PE Geek Balance It app or ebook, whichever one you wanna get. And the students will pick a balance and uh, they will take it over to their mats and they will practice the different balances. So they're working on using partner balances. And I also have some pictures out of uh, J.D. Hughes book, No Standing Around in My Gym. So we got some different balances for them to try on that as well. There you go, friends. Those are some uh, cool things that you can try for your gymnastics unit. All right, friends, that's it. Um, that's what we do for our gymnastics unit. It is a fun culminating experience. The kids get really excited about it each year. And there's a few things that we change every year to make it more difficult. So every year they are looking forward to um, trying it again because it gets harder and harder every year and they get to do more and more challenging things. So I hope that gives you some ideas for your gymnastics unit. We've worked on all these skills uh, in weeks previous to this, and this is kind of putting them all together, having a fun day and letting the kids uh, take responsibility and show some independent practice. So uh, normally what I'm doing during this time is giving feedback and also I'm standing over here near the vaulting station, which is kind of in the corner where I can spot kids and make sure they don't face plant on the mat. And also uh, just look and make sure everybody's doing what they should do. Um, you know, refinements throughout the day, are things like make sure you're sticking your landings, um, make sure that you are only going one at a time on the equipment, and make sure that you're doing a stretch beginning and the end, 
um, have everybody tuck their shirts in so you're not seeing any little belly buttons and um, m making sure that nobody gets embarrassed. Um, just things like that. So I hope you guys have some good ideas from that and have an awesome day. Check you later.